Hi, my dear friends and my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope you all are fine by the grace of God. Um, yesterday, by the grace of God, uh, God has been meditating, helping us to meditate with the Holy Spirit. Uh, we have seen from Jeremiah chapter 13, starting from verse 9, and then God took us to Hosea chapter 4. Now, let's go straight to the words. Please turn your Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 9. Thus says the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. Now today, God is addressing again to all the four categories of people. That is, the first one is the rulers of this world, the politicians and uh, various uh, leaders. And the second one, he is to the general audience who do not know God or they think they have nothing to do with God and all that. Sorry to say that. And the third one is all the men of God, the ministers of God and the fourth one of course the children of God, the, his sheep. So keep this in mind please as we proceed. Here he says, Thus says the Lord, Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 19, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. God is telling him, I will spoil the pride of every human. I will bring down the pride. Why is God telling that? Because what will happen is because of the pride, the hearts, unfortunately our hearts will be hardened. That's what the devil wants. He wants to keep us in darkness with his lies and deception because the truth, once truth, truth is light. So when the light comes in, the devil, his evil ways will be exposed because he wants to take all of us into eternal fire along with him. So that is his plan. And for that, he will try to make us all worship him, either with visible idols or invisible idols, other than the one and only true God, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of this world. So that's the one and only plan, the main plan of the devil, the, the kingdom of darkness. That's why he instills eye and pride into us so that he can harden our hearts. So in a hardened heart, which is a bad soil, the word of God uh, will not be able to bring about any effective uh, changes, repentance and all that. Okay, let me have some water please. So thus says the Lord, after this manner will I bring down the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. So every human, this doesn't refer only to those nations which are mentioned here, actually to God is talking to the whole world. So, uh, if we are prideful, then that pride God wants to bring down because, of course, with His love, with His love. God is love. Why? Because of pride, we will not be able to come to the truth. That's the only reason. So, the verse 10, it says, This evil people who refuse to hear my words. There you see. So, when pride is there, I and pride is there. That's what the devil tried to instill into us. That evil seeds called weeds. And then the hearts will be hardened. And then we will not be able to hear the words of God. The loving words of God. So, these evil people who refuse to hear my words. That's what God is telling. Unfortunately, he's calling us evil people when we refuse. Because when we refuse... Actually, we are listening to the devil, God forbid. We are listening to the devil and he will make us into his nature and uh, his character. That's how people become evil. So that's why God is calling evil. He's just telling the truth as it is. He's not blaming anybody, but the truth has to be told as it is without any sugar coating and all that. So these evil people who refuse to hear my words. So what will happen, unfortunately, if we refuse? And we continue to refuse 
the truth that is God's word the Bible now the truth is the one which will set us free so the word says so until we accept the truth until we understand the truth we cannot come to light in the darkness the devil has kept everybody as a, as his slave it is a bondage it is a slavery like i'm not blaming anybody i was like that before right and uh, out of experience only i'm telling i'm not pinpointing at anybody anyway it's not me who is talking so the truth shall set you free so god wants to bring us into freedom that's why so uh, let's turn to the next scripture matthew chapter 13 matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 please let me have some water matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 here god wants to reveal that the difference between a bad soil and good soil meaning a hardened heart and a soft heart that heart is softened by the uh, love of god so the difference between bad soil and good soil that is a hardened heart and a soft heart so the soft heart that is the good soil it will bear fruits it will bear fruits of repentance the works of the flesh will be destroyed by the grace of god by the power of the holy spirit and then we will be able to bear fruits of the spirit the fruit of repentance after that fruits of the spirit then the gifts of the spirit miracles and so on let's get into the verse and see how it is done here god is telling he is telling a parable parable uh, of the sower or some uh, some people call it parable of the seed so verse 18 matthew chapter 13 verse 18 hear you meaning all of you all please hear therefore the parable of the sower so here he is explaining verse 19 when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not now again you know the eye and the pride and the hearts are hardened and always our interest you know the devil they tune our mind to be concerned only with this worldly life worldly life enjoyment lust pleasure and so on money luxury and all that so when we when our interest is there then the word of god about the truth about uh, after life eternal life and god and all those things the devil will try to divert us from there he is actually cheating us my dear brothers and sisters please listen so when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not so when we do not have the longing the the interest the keenness to understand it this is what will happen the devil will keep us leather and what happen then comes the wicked one that is the devil and the evil spirit the wicked one comes and he takes away that which was sown in his, in his heart meaning in our hearts so he will come and take away the words you know he is try to divert and all those things and this is he which receives the seed by wayside the in the parable he is uh, jesus is telling four categories of people right this is the first category because of too much indulgence in the uh, worldly life then unfortunately we will not be able to uh, understand it so the words you know the devil will make us forget the words please be careful about the devices these are the last times we are living in so god is exposing all the cunning ways that uh, the uh, devices the deception and the lies of the devil see people are perishing at least in this last days let us wake up and come to the truth my dear brothers and sisters let us be smart by god's grace let us be wise all these years the devil and the kingdom of darkness fooled us through the system of this world let us come to the truth let us humble ourselves let us give our ears to the words of the lord when the holy spirit is talking with love verse 20 but he that receives the seed into stony places the same is he that hears the word 
and receives it with joy. This is talking about the person when they hear, they are so happy and you know, they get very emotional and all that, they receive it uh, with joy and all that. But the next verse, what's the problem? Yet, ha he has no root in himself, but endureth for a while. But when tribulation and persecutions arise because of the word, by and by, meaning slowly and steadily, he is offended. See? So, the word has to come in. This is, uh, God is telling, his word is like a seed. You know, any plant we see, uh, any seeds, sorry, seeds we plant, it has to take root if it has to come up. That's why, here the root is not there. So, immediately when the person is hearing the word, happily that person, he or she is accepting it. But then, because they, we don't, unfortunately, when we don't allow, when we go, don't go in the personal fellowship and sit with the Holy Spirit and ask Him to, you know, give us the revelations and all that and give us the grace to strengthen us in the Spirit, then it will have no root. So when there is no root, what will happen? Unfortunately, when, uh, you know, hard times, a little bit difficulties come, then they will give up the word. Next one. Verse 22. Let me have some water, please. He also that receives seed among the thorn is he that hears the word. Okay. Now this is the seeds are huh? sown, but in the heart that is in the soil, bad soil, thorns are there. What, are, what, is, what does this thorn symbolize? It's the cares of this world and deceit, deceitfulness of riches. Choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. Cares of this world, you know, even to many Christians, the problem is fear of future. God says, Oh, ye of little faith, I will, you are my child, I will surely take care of your needs. But, uh, you know, the devil comes and try to attack our faith. And then when we, uh, God forbid, when the faith is damaged, then we will lose the peace. Then slowly we uh, may lose the, our righteous way of living. So unfaithfulness gives us anxiety and all those things, you know. So, so people are worried, you know, the cares of this world and then after that, go after money and all that. After that, it increase, increase, increase. And the deceitfulness of the riches, greediness. That's why devil, other than eternal life, you know, he wants to divert us into these things of the world so that he can take us to, to eternal fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth and wailing forever and ever because of extreme pain. So he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hears the word and the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of, of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. But he that receives seed into the good ground, this is a good soil. Now the heart uh, which allows, you know, we humble and we allow the Holy Spirit to pour the love of God into our hearts and the hardened heart is now softened. Now it has become good soil. Now, in that good soil, what happens? Let's see. But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that hears the word and understands it. Because the Holy Spirit, we allow, we humble ourselves and we accept that we don't know anything and then the Holy Spirit will teach. He will. He's a comforter, he's a teacher and he's a helper. So when he is teaching, of course we can understand by God's grace. So he that receives the seed into the good ground is he that hears the word and understands it, who also bears fruit and brings forth some hundredfold, some sixtyfold and some thirty. Let me have some water please. That's Matthew chapter 18. Oh, sorry, chapter 13, verses 18 to 23. So, that God was, you know, exposing the devil, what he will do when you, when God's word is coming from a brother or sister. 
So we have to be very careful, my dear brothers and sisters, about these cunning ways of the devil to prevent the truth from coming to us. Let's, the next uh, scripture is Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 and 6. Remember in Jeremiah chapter 13 verses 9 and 10, God said, Thus says the Lord, after this manner, will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. He wants to bring down the pride. He wants to humble us. See now the coronavirus people are dying and all that. Now we wake up and many people now by God's grace are talking about God and this and that. But God doesn't want to allow these kind of painful things. But what can God do when we keep on rejecting his love? And we are pulled, pulled towards the eternal fire by the devil, the deception of the devil. And the deceitfulness of this world, the worldly life and the lust and the pleasure and all that. Thus says the Lord, I, after this manner, I will mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people who refuse to hear my words, you know, either we listen to the word of God from the Holy Spirit and become you know, changed into the character and nature of God. Oh, unfortunately, God forbid, we listen to the devil and the evil spirit and change into the character and uh, nature of the devil. Then we become evil. God is love and holy, but devil, he, he, he is burning with hatred towards us because he knows God loves us so much. And then evil. That's why God is saying, this evil people who refuse to hear my words, so please let us humble ourselves and hear to the Holy Spirit, the loving. All he is telling is he loves us. The loving words of God. Okay, next uh, scripture. So here God has said, they are refusing, we are refu refusing to hear him. Then let's see, Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 and 6 please. Excuse me. Now here it's, it is talking about God's wrath. Why is God wrathful? Because there is no truth. Right? Let's see. Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 and 6. Hear the words of the Lord, you children of Israel. Now, now at present time it uh, refers to the children of the whole world. We all are the children of God by creation, whether we believe it or not. But it doesn't mean we are the children of God by, you know, born again in the spirit or not. But by creation, because he created us. So, all of you, the whole world, please listen, hear the word of God, you children of the world. Because the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Here it says land, but now it refers to the whole world. God is having something against us. That's why God is allowing it. Because God is sovereign. Without his permission, devil cannot do anything. And God is love. So now, because God has no choice. Because the devil is pulling us towards eternal fire. So God has no choice but to remove the protection. Now the devil who is, whose, whose nature is evil, nothing but evil, and he wants to destroy us. Now he has brought this, you know, plague and killing people and all that. This is the truth, my dear brothers and sisters. Please believe. At least now, please believe. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. Because... The Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of this world. What is it? Because there is no truth. There is no truth. Only lies and deception and darkness and being deceived and bewitchment. Even the churches. Not all, but many of them. Let me have some water please. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the world. Here it says land. See, the knowledge of God, sure, you know, slowly and steadily with the, with the world system, you know, the devil, they have removed the knowledge of God. Nobody wants to listen to, listen about God or anything like that. That is verse 1. Now verse 6 it says, my people are destroyed. See, remember before. He was telling evil people, right? Evil people out of, you know, grievance, out of grievance. And that's the truth anyway. Uh, unfortunately, when we listen to the devil and then his nature comes into us, then we become evil people, God forbid. But here he's telling out of love, my people, right? God is love. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we need knowledge. We need the truth. We need the light to escape from the eternal fire. Why do we want to burn forever and ever? 
My dear brothers and sisters, this is not to scare anybody, but the truth is truth. Let's not be deceived, please. Why people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? That's the cry of the Lord. Let's see what is the next one. So, God is pleading with us almost. Like, there's no truth. Now what is going to happen that the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us? Please listen carefully. These are important things. Now perilous, perilous times are going to come. You know this word in Genesis chapter 3. Actually when God created man and you know Adam and Eve actually. And then he gave the dominion that is the rulership to them. But unfortunately the devil in the form of serpent, Satan came and deceived Eve and he took the rulership. Because she listened to his lies and the de deception and she ate the forbidden f uh, fruit and gave to Adam and Adam also ate unfortunately. Now from that time onwards the devil, uh, you know the system, the world system is, the world is controlled by the devil. But of course the heaven and earth belongs to God but only the system. That is because of our foolishness we gave up. At least now we shouldn't give up our salvation, my dear brothers and sisters. That's the only hope we have. So, that hierarchy, what is that? Devil is there, then the evil spirit is there. Under the evil spirit, there are uh, different families called Illuminatis. They are the ones where they control the world. You know, they have the uh, different, the almost 99% of the wealth and all that. They are there. And then under them is the international, uh, you know, financial institutions and all that. Under them is the reserve bank, you know, the central banks of different countries. Under them is the government. Under the government are we. Please understand, this is the truth. This is what is happening. Now, what they are going to bring, they, are, they want to bring a one world order. Because from... Uh, in the previous videos also, please go to the channel Grace Fresh Foods and in that you can see the video where what was the start of the problem. That's where Lucifer started rebelling because of I and pride and he said, I will be like the most high. From that day onwards, always the devil wants to be like God. So that's a spiritual battle going on. Whether we believe it or not, that's the truth, my dear brothers and sisters. So because of that, under this system, the devil's system, they want to bring a one world order. They want to bring a one global government. They want to bring one global economy. They want to bring one global religion. We have to be very vigilant about this, my dear brothers and sisters. We should not take the mark of the beast. Please, please, I am pleading. Please repent. Please come to the truth. Please be serious about your salvation before it is too late. Let me have some water, please. Now the Holy Spirit wants to reveal this. Now why is this coronavirus? Why do these government, where, where did this coronavirus come from? We did not have this kind of viruses before. Where does it come from? The, why do the different countries, not all, but different countries, they have these biological weapons? Why do they have those things? And in the, those biological weapons, that research center, something goes wrong and some viruses leak and then we, we get into trouble because of this. Some of the government, not all, but some of the governments. And they want to quarantine us for what? You did the mistake. You corrected. Why do you want to quarantine us? You see, what are they up to? Now what will happen? Please, God is telling to the leaders of this world, the rulers of the world, even uh, in the previous message he has already told, turn or burn. Please, please, please repent. Now, what the Holy Spirit wants to tell us about this is like now we are living in the end of the world. We are living in the end of the world. The time is coming. Now what will happen is they have brought these plagues. Now after this, now they say they want to bring a global monitoring system. Why do they want to monitor us and interfere into our privacy? They want to monitor it, uh, who is infected, this and that. These are all, you know, lies and the deception. All they want is to, they want to find out who 
have the light that means who who has the truth the word of god and who doesn't have those who doesn't have because already the devil is, has deceived them unfortunately and they are in the darkness and of course they are being pulled towards eternal fire so the devil is not bothered about that but those who have the truth because they don't want us to tell the truth to the world they don't want to to for us to save the brothers and sisters who are perishing and going towards eternal fire without knowing you know all busy and happy and uh, with the world life and all that so they want to find out who are these people who know the word, truth who know the word of god by god's grace the holy spirit is working with them to bring the light they want to remove us from this world that's what that's why they want to have a global monitoring system this 5g technology and all those things they want to bring then they want to bring a vaccine what is in the vaccine what is in the vaccine generally speaking the vaccine is nothing but for a particular disease whatever the virus or the uh, the 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 bacteria or that germs that is causing the disease they inject into our body first of all why do you all bring this kind of diseases into this world and you want us to take those vaccine and all that and what is mixed in in the vaccine i do not know the holy spirit telling we cannot take the vaccine we shouldn't take the vaccine they should the root is this greedy people, some of the government, they have these biological weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Why do you have these uh, uh, biological weapon research centers and all that? Because of there, it is leaking there and people are dying. It is they are the culprits, not us. We are the innocent. They want to quarantine us, have a global monitoring system. Why? This is the reason just now the Holy Spirit revealed us 5G, 5G technology and all that. Then they want to bring the vaccine. Please be careful. The vaccine, what are they injecting into us? We do not know. And that will control our mind and all those things will not allow us to think uh, straight and will not allow us to come to the truth. Many dangers are there, please. And then later they will say, oh, because of the cash, you know, the physical cash, inspection is spreading. So they want to bring digital money. Why do they want to bring digital money? Because in Revelation it clearly says that unless you have the mark of the beast, you cannot sell or buy. They want to control. That is the global uh, economy. Then they want to bring the beast system. The chip, that is the mark of the beast. Please do not take any chip. Already in this world, some countries, some states or provinces, they have. They have already started to practice. My dear brothers and sisters, please let us not burn forever and ever, God forbid, into the eternal fire. Let us come to the truth. Let us stand, no matter what happens. Because God, He is the resurrection and life. A, a, a righteous person, a child of God, even if He dies, He will live. Right? The same way like how Jesus, God manifested in flesh, came and died for our sins on the cross, a gruesome and, gruesome and painful death. But on the third day, He arose. Even, you know, yesterday, today is 13th of April 2020, and yesterday, 12th of April, uh, you know, the world celebrated Easter, the resurrection of the, Jesus Christ, the one and only God, the Savior, Lord and Savior of this world. So no matter what, please, be careful, be alert and vigilant. Believe, believe God. The B system, please. It's in uh, Revelation and you can, you know, meditate from Daniel, the book of Daniel in the book, uh, in the Bible and the Revelation book of Revelation, Revelation 13 and so on. And they will try to isolate us. You know, this quarantine and all that thing, it's just a practice. You know, it is just kind of a rehearsal like. You know, they are testing the ground, how we react and all those things. So they will try to isolate. And they will try to bring legal pressure and then social pressure on us. And then persecution will start. I'm not telling a, a fairy tale or not. The Holy Spirit is not telling a fairy tale. Of course, persecution happened. They killed all the prophets and all that in the Old Testament and all that. This is nothing new. And in the early churches, they were persecuted and all that. We know that is history. Nobody can deny that. And even now, at present, as we are talking in the whole world, Christians are being persecuted. So persecution will come. Please. And even in the gospel, you can meditate Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, all this is telling about the last day. Jesus himself is telling to us and giving us the loving warning because he doesn't want us to be caught off guard. Let me have some water, please. So that is the loving warning the Holy Spirit is giving. These perilous times are going to come and then these, you know, they are doing these kind of things and we have nothing to do with that and they want to 
bring all these things on to us so this is the devil system they the devil wants to take all of us into eternal fire please that is the truth that is the truth that is the truth and now we have seen because the time is going to finish around three minutes more i think and then let's see let's have a quick revision my dear brothers and sisters of course it will be a little bit difficult and shocking as if what is this guy talking about and all that of course please in the next videos we will you know the holy spirit you know he is he's so loving he's very com he's the comforter and you know he helps us he he teaches He's the comforter, the teacher and helper. So he will help us. So in the next videos and all that the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us how he will help to, you know, come to know the truth, how he will help us. He knows our weaknesses. He knows because he created us. He designed us. Doesn't he know? When some factory, they design and they manufacture some machine or something like that, they give the manual because they know how it the machine works and all that in the same way god created us he designed us he knows our weaknesses he's not pinpointing guilt and condemnation comes from the devil please don't give in to guilt and condemnation here nobody is blaming you but the holy spirit is convicting us because he does want us to burn forever and ever in the eternal fire he is loving that's why jesus couldn't sit there on the throne he came down and died for our sins so out of love he is he is giving in uh, you know this loving warning as many as i love i rebuke and chasten therefore be zealous and repent that's what so do not worry about anything even if you don't understand as you watch the future videos in the next videos and all that uh, you can you know come to the holy spirit will help you to come to the understanding please go to the channel grace fresh foods and you can start from the playlist pestilences from the first video or any other video according to the how the Holy Spirit guides you and he will lead you and he lets you because I do not know who you are and what is your spiritual understanding and all that and what is your struggle what is your weakness and all those things so he knows that so he will lead you to the correct video there are uh, uh, you know playlists like pestilences is there then the next one I believe battle of the spirit world then the other one is uh, bewitched churches He's mainly talking to the bewitched churches, uh, the, I mean the churches and then, you know, how to deliver the churches and all that. Then the fourth uh, playlist, that's the one which we are seeing now. This will be the, uh, what is that, candle in darkness and so on. Sorry, my memory <laughs> is not good. And then, uh, that's why. So, so please listen to these videos and, you know, let us come to the truth. Let us help each other. Please pray for me also. Pray for me also, so that the Holy Spirit will give me the grace to, you know, uh, continue and uh, do only what he says. Nothing more, nothing less. Every truth shall uh, be revealed. So that's what the promises of God. Okay, so God bless you all. Take care. Be peaceful. Do not be upset about this. In the Continue to watch and the Holy Spirit will help us. God bless you all. Take care. Have a nice day.